Hi guys, it's Jen here and welcome to Jen's World About Art. So today I'm going to draw a giraffe for you and I'm going to do this with my mechanical pencil and my watercolours. So this is a reference picture I took myself at um, Werribee Open Range Zoo here in Melbourne, Victoria. It's a beautiful zoo um, where the animals have, or they live in a natural, in, as natural an environment as they can. They have um, hundreds of acres to wander around in herd groups. Um, so there's a herd of giraffe there. They roam in with the rhinoceros and there's zebra and different kinds of antelope and it's just the most amazing place. So we went out on the animal tour bus and I got some gorgeous photos of these guys. So I'm drawing in the basic shapes now. I'm not worrying about or too much about doing them exactly like the giraffe in the photograph. I'm just basically filling in the spaces and doing them generally um, sort of asymmetric shapes around him. Um, sort of squarish, but yeah, a little bit off square. Um, so now I'm just colouring him in. So I'm doing a very, very watered down dilution of um, raw sienna just for the base of his coat. So and into his spots. So I'll do this in two or three layers. So yeah, so the bottom layer is just a very, very, very thin wash of raw sienna. So I'll take that through all of his spots and I'll build these up in darker tones as I go along. So I'm using my Schminky watercolours today and um, my silver black velvet brushes, which are beautiful brushes for this kind of work. So they've got a nice spring back and they hold lots of water. They're just lovely. So yeah, I'm just doing these patches in, I'm just filling in around the different areas. I apologize if you can hear the rain in the background. We've got a lovely rainy day here in Melbourne and I love rain, so it's wonderful. But yeah, you'll probably be able to hear it in the background. So I apologize for that. So I'll keep popping in these colors in the spots. So that's just about done. So now I put a bit of transparent sienna in there with it and darken it up just a couple of tones. So, and I take that around and I run that through pretty much every spot now. Not covering the whole of the spots, just sort of roughly doing it. Just to darken them up and because he's, he's actually in the picture, he's darker underneath than he is on top. So I'll do these top ones and I'll do all of them with this color and then I'll go along the bottom of his neck and his belly with a slightly darker tone again. And he's quite dark on his rump there. So I've actually put a little bit more transparent sienna in that. And down his legs. So now, as you see, I'm going in with a bit more um, transparent sienna in it or almost pure. So it's quite a, a bit darker and I take that around everywhere that's darker on this, this giraffe's coat. Take that round his underbelly, down his legs. And now pop some fur on the end of his tail. So now in his um, normal coat around his spots I'm just going in with a wet wash a very diluted wash of yellow ochre because his coat is actually got a little bit of gold tinge in it so I've just gone with the yellow ochre in a very wet wash and it'll dry just fractionally lighter than it is so now I'm mixing up a brownie grey and I've done that with burnt umber and ultramarine and I'm taking that around the darkest darks in his spots and on his mane and on the very tops of his antlers. I'm not sure what you call those things on their heads, but I'm calling them antlers. <laughs> they got little furry bits on the tops of their heads. So I just take that gray around the darkest parts. So now I've mixed up a yellow ochre and a little bit of um, white gouache just to gray up the bottom of his legs. And now I put even darker tone to just darken up these spots where they need to be the darkest. And now I'll just put a bit of shadow on the backs of his legs. And I'm mixing up a green and I'm using a bit of sap green and I mixed in a bit of yellow ochre with it just to brown it off a little bit. 
and then I do a bit of a darker mix or a bit of olive green and a bit of yellow ochre to darken up some grass. Now I pop in the finishing touches, just do around his eye and the tussock things on top of his antlery bits. Darken up that eye. Pop his nostrils on and we're done. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. Um, yeah, it was fun to do a watercolour again. It's been a little while. Anyway, I shall see you guys for the next video. Have an awesome day and I'll see you then. Okie doke. Bye.